Nah. No, see, what's really funny is um, I've started, oh, and this is probably going to sound really bad, but this would probably make Ellie laugh. Um, I got stung by a yellow jacket a while back, so ever since then I've had kind of a vendetta against yellow jackets. So I would leave a can of Coke and a can of Dr. Pepper sitting out as bait. <laughs> <laughs> I would attract them to the cans, and then once they landed, I would spray them with bug spray, which is flammable. (laughs) And then I would go to set them on fire. Now, nothing happened with the Coke. (laughs) But But when you do that to the Dr. Pepper, it goes whoosh. I'm like, whoa. My God. Okay, no open flames. We don't want to risk that one. No, no. I'm gonna be game. I know the I know the Skittles are gonna be okay because you know Skittles rock, man. But these Twizzlers, oh my god! They're like, oh, you can string them, and it's like, oh my god, they stink. <laughs> Cherry Twizzlers. I probably should have got the strawberry ones, but oh well. Okay. I prefer the strawberry ones. John can't have those though. Why? Because he's allergic to strawberry. So needless to say, I buy lots of strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Okay, hang on. Uh. It stuck to my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we'll move on to the Skittles, hey? <laughs> that might be a good idea. <laughs> now, in this one, there is... Berry punch, melon berry, raspberry, strawberry, wild cherry. Oh, that Twizzle is nasty. How the <laughs> hell do you guys eat that shit? Seriously. Because <laughs> I eat the strawberry ones? Yeah. Okay. See, okay, the thing with Twizzlers is... Hey, Skittles in okay. it, It's like you get Twizzlers, not to eat them on a regular basis, but more so as a yeah, I could I could go for a Twizzler. I think I'll be feeding to them to the kiddo, and yeah, I think I'll be going to the Reese's Pieces next time. Good idea. When all else fails, and you're not sure what to get, stick with peanut butter and chocolate. You can't go wrong with peanut butter and chocolate. True. Okay, so the Twizzlers and the Dr Pepper together don't taste so bad. <laughs> Maybe they cancel each other out with the nastiness. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, okay. see, I know that I know that I have a lot of people um, like that don't live in the United States, and they prefer the cherry Dr Pepper. Well, Jesus Christ! If I had bought every single Dr Pepper they had in there, and every Fanta and whatever else, I would have been broke. Not to mention, I would have been hiking up a bloody twelve pack back to the house. <laughs> 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 uh, aluminium's not exactly that light. Not when it's full of American stuff. <laughs> Aluminum. Aluminium, lovey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you want to start off with one story about our lovely Eleanor? Yeah, okay, let's see. The the hardest part is trying to decide which ones I should tell. <laughs> which ones are suitable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that probably one of my biggest regrets, <laughs> which is actually the most hilarious regret you could have, honestly, probably has to be that a majority of the conversations that Ellie and I had one or both of us were drunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. We made many, many, many a drunk phone call with each other, and we enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, sometimes it was me, Ellie, and another friend of ours, or it would just be her and I, but we would have fun. That, I think I think that's what I'm going to miss the most, is that no matter what the situation was, she could make it fun or funny. Yes, even when they sucked completely, the moment could just exactly. be turned on its head instantly. Mhm. I mean, 
I, I know that there were many, many times that I would talk to her and I would just feel like absolute crap. And she would somehow manage to have me pissing myself laughing by the end of it. That is truly a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Probably the first story I'll tell is the one where I was sounding off at her about how pathetic my daughter's school was being at the time and how they weren't keeping her up with her writing and everything like that. And I said to her, you know what, it would just make things so much easier if she had a pen pal. And she's like, oh, well, I'll do that. Get her to write me a letter. Here's my address. Send send me something. So, you know, we sent her over a letter and she sent me back this humongous package. Like, seriously freaking huge. And it's got uh, the candy corn, which was nasty. Uh, it had... Oh, what were they? Not Twinkies, the other ones. Uh... <sighs> Little Debbie snacks? No. Tasty Cakes. Mm. She sent me Tasty Cakes, the peppermint chocolate ones. And she sent us Cracker Jacks and stuff like that, because I think I had sent her over some Vegemite and some Tim Tams previously, so she was addicted to those things, but I don't think I've had the, had the chance to send her out anything more of that, so... Yeah, so we got this thing, and there's like artwork and letters and stickers and all this stuff, and it was fantastic. And it was like Christmas, so it was fantastic. And she did that more than once for us, and it was beautiful. That I means she was always so giving, and she really was fabulous. I mean, she, I, she was honestly one of the few genuine people left in the world. If she said something, she meant it. There was no beating around the bush. There was no sugarcoating it. She was either going to tell you flat out and she was a no-nonsense person. And she was a Philly girl, damn it. But she was selfless. She would do anything for anyone. She would definitely, absolutely, completely move heaven and earth to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Even if it was just for a smile. If she knew she could make you smile, she would do whatever it took. Uh -huh. And I tell you, when she turned that focus on you just to make you feel special, you totally, totally felt every minute of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she ran a web... I mean, she ran TLC, which is the website we're part of. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, she didn't have to do that. She did it for us. She didn't do it for herself. And, you know, she never want. I know a lot of members on that website never met her in person. I didn't. You didn't. Mm -mm. But she never once made you feel like you were less of a friend because no. of that. And, you know, even though you were on the other, well, even though I was on the other side of the world, you know, that gap was pretty small. Mm-hmm. You know, the distance might have been huge, but you didn't feel it. I think the reason why, and I, this is what I was explaining to Robin the other day, and Ziggy and a few other people, I think, is I think the reason why this hurt as much as it did is with as great as she was, as strong as she was, as just overall amazing, I mean... And people always say nice things at you know people's memorial service, but I, you know, for the first time, I mean everything that I say, you know? Yeah, there's no bullshit in this one, tell me. <laughs> no. But she, with as awesome as she was, she always had this power and this sense of immortality. Like, she was just so great, it would just keep going and keep going as a never-ending force. And I mean, it is. It's just not in a physical form. And so when she got cancer, that just seemed so human, so petty, and just so... And we all thought, and for a while she had, you know, that she'd beaten it. And she would beat it. This is the type of person Ellie is. She would beat it just so she could look at someone, and excuse my French, she would look at someone just so... She, she would beat it just so she could look at someone and say, I beat cancer. What the fuck have you done with your life? 
Exactly. And that's really what we were expecting to happen and then everything went sort of ass up and Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't think that it got to be too much. I think she just allowed it to happen. I think she knew that it was time. Yeah, and I think she probably saw that it was making the people around her tired. You know, just worrying about her constantly because we were. We were very worried. 